Wow, much better. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I like that. Angolo kit. Thanks. Yeah. Okay. How are you doing, everybody? I'm Kit, and today I'm joined once again by my mom, Apundi. Hi. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much. <laughs> very happy to be here. If you are new here, consider subscribing. This is the subscribe button is a follow button. Is it for free? It's for free. The like button is a recommendation. So the more people who like the video, yeah, it reaches a wider audience who has to have, don't know about me. Oh really? Yes. How does that work? It's an algorithm that you, YouTube has. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So today we're going to talk about something very interesting that um, only affects women. We have no idea how it affects men. You didn't uh, say but subscribe. If you are new here, consider subscribing. I did. Oh, sorry. I interrupted. <laughs> But we will actually investigate if it affects men in any way, shape or form. So stay tuned and I hope you enjoy it. Let's get into the video. There's a phenomenon out here. Yeah. The other day I was walking in my neighborhood and mm -hmm. this woman stopped me and said, hi Kit. And I said, hi, how are you? I'm used to being stopped now because of YouTube and Instagram. Um, so I'm gracious when I'm stopped. And they said, uh, I, I seen you around and our children play together. I'm Mama, let's say Jane. I'm Mama Jane. And I said, oh, it's very nice to meet you. And what's your name? She said, I'm Mama Jane. Ask Kendi about Jane. Ask Kendi about Jane. I'm Mama Jane. I said, okay. I, to date, do not remember what her name is because it was not important for me to remember a six-year-old's name so that I can remember that this is her mother. I really just wanted to know her own personal name. All right. Well, I am at a at a meeting actually, um, a workshop, and there's a lot of uh, um, people, and I'm meeting people. You know how you take during tea break, you're moving around and you're meeting people. Yeah. And uh, I get to this woman and she says her name is Mrs. Let's call her Otieno. Mm -hmm. She says her name is Mrs. Otieno. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh <-huh>. So <laughs> I, I did uh, proceed to ask. Mm -hmm. uh, very, I, I'm really glad to meet you. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I mean, this has happened so many times, yeah. actually. And, yeah. and, you know, one of the things that I do then tend to do is, you know, after a short chat, mm. I say, and what's your name? Mm. And they once Inevitably. again... Inevitably. Yeah. <laughs> repeat. Yeah. I inevitably... And they inevitably say, I am Mrs. Otieno. Yes. And I say, and your name? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And sometimes they offer it, and mm. sometimes they don't. Yeah. What do they say if they don't? When they don't? They just stay with Mrs. Sotieno. Do they seem surprised? Like you, you're not hearing them? They seem surprised, and I, I guess because of my age, I, uh, I've probably been given the license to to keep probing because you sometimes it's a younger person yeah. some sometimes it's a person closer to my own age group yes um yeah but uh um when they are a teacher mm. i let it go mm. very quickly mm. when i walk up and somebody says i'm mrs otien and they're a teacher mm. i let it go because mm. they have been called that for so, so long, long because of the space in which they work mm. uh, and they do come up and say i'm teacher jane mm. 
Mm. Yeah, so yeah. people do say, and they use the prefix. Yeah. Teacher, teacher Jane, yeah. not teacher Jane. Yeah. Because that's what they're called in that environment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, and then also, um, a lot of civil servants mm. will come over and say, I am Mrs. Otieno. Mm. But if I've met you, for instance, in church or at a wedding and you're, Miss, you're still Mrs. Otieno, mm. then I think you've carried a... Um, an, a work space uh, title, title to, to a social a, space to a social space yeah or to a real space yeah <laughs> yes yeah. right um so this is where we're going with this conversation there is no issue we don't have any issue with you referring to however you want to refer as to yourself what we do want to encourage women to think about is the absurdity of introducing yourself as Martin's wife or Candy's mother or because Martin's who, daughter or Martin's daughter which is m much less said actually I uh, mean well, that's what you're saying say, but in my day I'm Miss Nyangaya yeah. Right, so which is depending Nyangaya's on the environment letter. again. Yeah, again. If I'm in civil service, then I am Miss Nyangaya. Yes, it's true. Yes. Yeah, it's yeah, it's true. So, yeah. can you imagine walking into a space and saying, Hello, how are you, everybody? My name is Martin's wife. But in social circles or in non informal circles, I am called Kendi's mother. Yeah. So, now what we want to investigate, and I'm also called. Nyangaya's Nyangaya's daughter. daughter. <laughs> so what we want to investigate is the effect of that on us as women. Because we don't have you I'm not a person as me. I am somebody something. Yes. And I I was talking to Martin about this topic. And he said for him that sounds like the strangest thing he has ever heard. He has never thought about it like that. He has he can't imagine ever introducing himself in any circle as Kendi's father. Any circle. Any. Any. None. Wherever he turns He doesn't up. even introduce himself to Kendi's father, Baba Kendi, in the playground with Kendi's friends. Even when Kendi is there. Even when Kendi is there. <laughs> so who is he in the playground? Martin! He... So what does he tell the little children? He's Kendi's father. But if they're asking him his name, he says he's Martin. He has never said, I'm that Baba. Name... I'm, my name is Baba Kendi. Never. Never. Well, yes. So you <laughs> see, there's a whole gender, there's a whole gender thing to it, Keta. Yes. Um, we are designed as women or girls by society to uh, not be fully mm, worthy mm, of mm, ourselves mm. without an app appendage yes and uh, yes yeah and 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 there's a sadness to it huh? yeah the sadness I'll, and i'll speak about mama candy faster uh i i quickly became mama kit in certain home circles eh? And uh, mean kit, yeah, mean kit, yeah, yeah, and uh, and uh, I respond to it when somebody says mean kit, I know they're either referring to me mm. or they're calling me. Mm. I respond to it, yes, I never introduce myself even to my grandchildren's age, yes. ages as uh, mean kit, yes, uh, I tell them because. I, I have this whole sense that they don't own me, <laughs> but they own Kit. And so then people refer to me uh, with the name of the person that they that own. That they own. Yeah. It's not, it's not you. No. And I started feeling disenfranchised and, uh, and quickly went into uh, making sure that every person mm. of every generation mm. in the family mm. knows my name. So I say I am 
Dana mm-hmm. Apondi. Yes. Yeah. So yes. even uh, Kendi, Kendi calls me Dana Apondi. Yes. So I am the Dana with a name. Mm. I'm not. <laughs> You know, I mean, really, yeah. I'm not just a dana. I'm not just a grandmother. You know a name. I'm that grandmother who actually has a name. And in our in our African context, we don't say the names of people older than us. We are not even supposed to know the name. Yeah, but that's you're not just supposed true, to call Kate. them. You're supposed to call them by a, a, a title. title. Dana, mom, yeah. uncle, auntie. No. But Kate, that's not true. Mm. That's true mm. of your own social context mm. in your own village mm. where you're born. <laughs> where you're born, people are not referred to, to by, by their, their names. names. But tell me where you are. where i'm born what are the names of, uh, of your grandfather i actually know them what are, and what we are call they? them by uh, their name we call them papa matthew papa laban papa did we all know th- we know their names yes i don't even know where i came up with that that, that idea that idea because it's the reality on one side of your family yes and the reality on the other side of your family is, is that have everybody names. goes by a name even my grandmothers, they all have names. Yes. My great grandmother, I even know my great grandmother's name. Yes, you know your great grandmother's name because she was called Elseba yeah. and we all called her Eba. Yeah, we called her just Eba. Eba. We didn't even call her Dana, <laughs> we just called her Eba. So, Kate, the Lua tradition, ah. the Lua tradition, and this is uh, older than your. 30 years the Lua tradition is everybody's called by their name yes in fact uh, most people never did call their mother mama mm. or Minwa or mm. Mera Mera would have been the the proper Lua way of saying it what they just it? they called her by her name what yes and then other cultures came in and interrupted all that and a lot of it is Odiero culture so the, the, first of all the misses yes so yeah so i i really i guess i am very um african aware. renaissance mm. and very aware i mean my grandmother was eba and then suddenly me i just become min kit and or or you know this non-entity my grandmother had a name <laughs> yes you have taught me something yes new. and my grandmother who are, i was named for my other my maternal grandmother mm. teresa mm. yes mm. but we all called her mom mom but why was she called mom she I, was named after her mother no her children called her mom and she she was in a holy um colonial culture okay yes so in that colonial culture you can't just call your mother teresa you have to call yes, her mom you have to call her mom mm. so that's how i then became uh named mom. after her and became uh people call me mom yeah so i don't and mind all, people all calling my cousins me mom. and all my oh everybody in our family on this side calls her auntie mom yes. or mom or mom yeah yeah <laughs> and then there are people who call me dana mom mm. because now i'm also mm. grandmother so i'm auntie mom or dana mom and uh, and if my father calls me mom yeah my uncles call me mom yeah my, everybody my siblings everybody yeah. on this on this yes. on this side calls you mom yes. and when we go to to game yes. and people call and people refer to you as mama yes i feel some type of way oh really because, because you are I mama, am mama. <laughs> <laughs> and all my uncles and aunties on my dad's side called me mama yeah. so i'm there and people are saying mama and i'm and responding it's and it's my mom and i'm yeah. just like yeah and i'm the only i don't know yeah i'm the only and real the only... mama <laughs> <laughs> yeah so in that in uh, in that respect mom then became my name and yes. not a title and not a title and yeah. so when people call me mom i'm responding not to a title yeah. but to a name yes yes yeah. and so there i don't feel disenfranchised mm. yeah yes i i i compl- I, I, I get that yes. and i don't feel disenfranchised by my children calling me mom 
No. In fact, I feel like if they called me Kit, I'd be like, yes. Can you can you put some respect on that? Yes. But I wouldn't. I don't like the name Mama Kit. Mm, no. Why? Uh, Mama Kendi. Why? Why? I am Kendi's mother. Yes. That's okay. That's fine. But calling it's me, not a title. It's it's a description. It's a description. Yeah. So what they are actually doing is describing me rather than calling me. Yes. So when Candy first came, um, and especially um older people in my in my family, your marriage family, my no 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 my my own family. Yes. And then the and then older people in my married family mm. would call me Mama Ki, Mama Candy, mm. and I would say, please. Please just still call me Kit. Yes. And they now they call me Kit. Everybody yes. calls me Kit. There's yes. nobody who calls me Mama Candy except yes. Candy's friends. Yes. Candy's Which and Kendi's friends. Which is fine. Those are the only people. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Even so now, even me. even the housekeeper. Every anybody who works with me. My yes. name is Kit. Yes. It's who I am. Yeah. It's my name. Like it's yes. not, there's no disrespect on it. Yes. No problem when they are young. Yeah. I don't have a problem. I didn't have a problem when your ch your your friends were young and they called me Mama Kit. Yes. But uh, when your friends now people your age walk yeah. in and they call me Mama Kit, I mean really, didn't you just see me? Are you not seeing me? I mean I'm seated right here. I have a name. And and I tell by the way, like new friends, I'm like um and people who ask me for your number, I'm like here is her number. I write your number and Apondi and in brackets, don't call her Mama Kit. <laughs> Yeah. Don't call her. She is a person without me. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't need to be Mama Kit to be worthy mm. of, of honor or mm. of space. Mm. Yeah, mm. I, I, I feel quite a big space. Huh? I mean, yeah, and I don't need, and I really, I, I thank Yahweh that I'm your mother, mm. but I don't need to be referred to as your mother. To be worthy of uh, of who I am, I mm. am worthy without being Kit's mother. Mm. Yeah, I mean, really, yeah. uh, I'd rather that you called me uh, Amicus Day, mm. which is a friend of God. Amen. Yeah, I can work with that title. I can work with, that can work with the Amicus Day. Yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah. yeah, why aren't you calling me Amicus Day? Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so there's all that. Yes. And so some people, uh, they, they speak it and they speak it from honor. They, they're actually not being disrespectful Abs or anything. Absolutely. And we're not talking about the people who refer to us as anything. No, we are referring, we are referring to, referring to, how to how ourselves. It, yes, how it how lands. How it lands from us. Yes. And, and what, what it takes away. What it takes away. What, what effect it, adds. it has on us. Yes. To introduce ourselves as somebody's something. Yes. Rather than us. So, Mama Kendi, yes. I'd like yes, to... Yes, Mama Kit. <laughs> <laughs> One of the, the things I found saddest about uh, referring to women by the names of their children is in the presence of my loved ones who are trying to have babies and they haven't had children. And everybody's Mama Nani, Mama Nani, Mama Nani, Mama Nani, Rose. and then this person. <laughs> yeah. I mean, so basically, uh, it's very disenfranchising. Oh, so that's the other way it lands for me. Okay. Very disenfranchising for me of the loved one okay. who then doesn't have a child yeah. and they're not being called mama so and so. One time you told me something so strange that somebody was being referred to as mama zero. Oh, really? That, well, that was you, wasn't it? Maybe, and because they didn't, about? they didn't have a child. Yeah, now. Also, is your hand still actually? Yeah. There? Okay, Touching but I'm me. still loving you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I remember something like that. Yeah, and uh, really, I, I think now that I, I am who I am today, mm. if I ever hear somebody call somebody Mama Zero, and you that is a, a person who's been trying to have a child. They could be Mama Zero because they're so happy to be called Mama Zero because they don't have a baby and they didn't and want they don't to have want. a... And they're trying not to have a baby. They're doing everything. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
<laughs> so then they're, they're, so then they're really glorying in being Mama Zero. Yes. But uh, I think the next time I hear somebody say something mm. that disrespectful, yeah. I will stand up for that person mm. and say, I'm not going to allow you to say that thing. Yeah. Yeah. It is not right. It is mm. wrong on too many fronts. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's just that dis disenfranchising of people who yes. might be trying to have a child or maybe they're not ready to have a child yet, but it's yes. just like you're not in the club. Yeah, you're not in the club actually. You've been, you've been pushed onto the side and you're in the bleachers. You're not playing the game. Mm. Yeah, mm. it's just very sad. Eh? Yeah. Everybody is you're not a part of us. So. You're not worth yeah. worth. yeah, being mama anybody. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just, just, just wrong. Eh? And women gather together in a, in a gathering and they call mm. themselves Mama so, and so, Mama yeah. so and so. I mean, shut up already if there's somebody <laughs> among you. No, really, if there's somebody among you who doesn't have yeah. a child, yeah. just find other ways of referring to each other. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, that's it. And that's now on the one side. Yes. Now the other side of mm. Mrs. Such and Such. Ah, now that thing. Yeah. <laughs> Tawi told me something mm. so funny. Mm. She said the next time somebody introduces themselves as such and such, uh, Mrs. Mrs. Martin's wife, mm. Mrs. Kiarie, mm. she will introduce herself as pilot. Because if we are going with, with jobs, <laughs> <laughs> if we are going with jobs, <laughs> hello, my name is Mrs. Kiarie and I'm pilot. pilot. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> That's so funny. Well, but you, well, you know, you've not told me your name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah you people, are holding, people are with people are with holding names. Yeah, yeah. and and you know, uh, Mrs. So and So, uh, Mama So and So. All these things, they are appendages. Yeah, eh? and and they are props. Yeah, they are props. They, they are, are props. props. They are jewelry. Yes. They are, yeah, I put on. Know. I I put on my jewelry. Mm. I, mm. I I. They are accessories. Moisturizer. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. My. Uh, yeah, mm. yeah. So, Mrs. Nyangaya. <laughs> so, yeah, I I do get called Mrs. Nyangaya mm. in church. In church. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, I I guess that's the and, only and context. You, and but you know what? Everybody knows your name. They know my name. Everybody. Everybody knows your I name. You know, there's people. Say, there's people who you ne you will never know their name. In fact, the father. The farthest you can get is Mrs. Justus Nyangaya. Yes, Justus. So it's literally you are you are wife of Justus Nyangaya. Yeah. Or wife of Nyangaya. Yeah. But you're never Mrs. Apondi Nyangaya. Nah. And he is never Mr. Apondi. <laughs> of course, some people make a mistake. They think Apondi is a surname, and so sometimes he's called uh, Mr. Apondi. I love it so I much love because it. you say it so often. <laughs> I laugh and you know, I mean, but it, yeah, so yeah, yeah, so, so sometimes they call him, they, they sometimes they call him Mr. Pony, uh -huh. and, and he, then he laughs, he laughs and he <laughs> says, Okay, <laughs> <laughs> and we, we, you know, I mean, if I'm there, we both laugh, yeah. Uh, yeah, and sometimes he 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 bothers to correct it, and sometimes he just he just runs and with and it. it's it's so fascinating to me because they have absolutely no. What's the word I'm looking for? No understanding mm. that a pondi could possibly be your name because you say you say it too often. Maybe. Maybe I say it too often and so then yeah. people really don't get get the idea. They get the that, idea. It's yeah. like how can you be that yes. yourself? And then that you Yeah, and then where's where's the Mzungu name mm. that that goes with you? Mm. Yeah. Mm. So when mm. I say Apondi then it must be my surname. Yes. Yeah. Because yes. there's then then there's no Mzungu name or what they call the baptism uh, the, the the Christian, Christian name. name yeah so yeah. when they ask me so what's your Christian name and I say Apondi mm. again that surprises people because yes, yeah, a Christian course. name is supposed to be an English, English name. name yeah yeah or or or, 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 or Greek or or, Greek. or French referred to as Christian yeah. yeah even a name from Greek mythology oh yeah any yes. name any name any, any name that, that's not African that's not African is Christian Absolutely. yeah so um Mrs. Why does that not work for me? Yeah. It, it doesn't work for me. And what effect do you think it on has on, on, on women who introduce themselves and 
and yeah. identify themselves as mm. such a su I, such a someone's know, husband. You know, I, I I used to be a teacher, mm. and for a long time I was Miss Miss Buyu. Mm. Yeah, mm. Uh, and uh, in that context. I, j I just had no issues with it mm. and then uh, I got married and mm. I became Mrs. Nyangaya mm. and again I had no no issues with it mm. uh, because the work and environment... And would you you'd go into the classroom and say, you know, new classroom and say, Hal, good morning, my name is Mrs. Mrs. Nyangaya. Yes, or Miss Buyu. Yeah. Yeah. I would. I would. Yeah. I would say my first name. That's what that's what I wanted you to say. <laughs> no, but you know you never did say you your no 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 say, I didn't. Did you, you never say no, your no, first no, name. No 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 you don't say your first name to students. To students. Then they'll start to calling you that thing. <laughs> what is your name? Respectful. Yeah no please. Huh? It just doesn't work. It just it's just so I don't know. We have inherited yes. a very uh, British. Yes. It's very uh, British. Yes, yeah. a system yeah. of uh, ref reference yeah. to each other. Mm -hmm. So very British, and I, I grew up. And especially I, I, teachers. You know, yeah, especially like teachers. teachers yeah. yeah, I was already locked in that space. Yeah, so no, nah. So, um, but then after I became, uh, I uh, I started uh, claiming who I am in the uh, context of the Africanness of me mm. and um, walking in the paths of the African Renaissance mm. I, I, I realized what, what's this thing mm. Kwanzaa mm. yeah because um, traditionally for Lua people um, you never carry the name of your husband ever ever and your husband also never carries the name of his father Ever. Ever. Everybody, Everybody has their own has name. Their, has and walks around with their own name. Yeah. So And you know what? That's actually true for a lot of Kenyan, a lot of African communities. Yes. Women do not change their names. Yes. In, in, because of marriage. Because of marriage. That no. is a, a Western, it's, it's a very foreign, very it's a very foreign construct. construct. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 My mother was the first generation in her line. Mm to carry her husband's, her husband's name, name my mother yeah so it's really only one generation yeah. old mm, yes. yeah and you'll find yeah. even all the children are called you know kit okelo tawi achieng like nobody has a father's name nobody has a husband's name it's just yes. you are you as you yes yeah uh nevertheless when you did get married as a luo mm. woman yeah the women then carried their father's name. Mm. <laughs> Only the woman. <laughs> so oh, you so changed then, your name to your father's name. You 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 moved you on. You moved on with your father's name, so that that name is not lost. Not forgotten. Where it's not forgotten, and the relationship be between your family, this new family, and that family is not lost ah, yes. in that transition. Ah, yes. So yes. you That's very interesting. You would be. The daughter of Nyangaya. Yes. So in the English context, you'd be today called Miss Nyangaya. Miss Nyangaya. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So one of my my uh, sister's husbands continuously calls her Miss Buyu. Mm. Yes. Yeah. So it's like that. Yeah. You 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 carry the females carry their father's name. Yes. Not the males. Not the males. Because the males don't transition. They're right there. Yeah. And the the lineage is clear. Yes. So why the females carry it so that the the lineage, lineage is, is also clear. Cl is also clear. Otherwise, it might get lost. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, for me, no, uh, Mrs. Nyangaya is the, the kind of introduction for me where. Uh, the person looks insecure and uh, I don't well I don't know about the person let me mm. just talk about myself huh? talk about yourself. yeah but yeah the end yeah. what I really really want us to get into is the effect of that of the effect of that yes. yeah the effect and, of that. and even the effect because there's so many um, there's somebody was talking about changing changing your name like um, legally in your papers to carry your husband's name so even your id something that you got when you're 18 years old 
um, changing all your documents yes. to to read your husband's name. Why? <laughs> what did they need? <laughs> I mean, anyway, the so person that said. Not, yeah. the, anyway, the person that, that what I was. And that's reading, a lot of work, and he's that not changing is, um, anything. No, he's not changing anything. Okay. He, he is perfect as he is. Yeah. It is you who needs to A B C D. Yeah. But anyway, this person said that they are married to a foreign to a, a foreign national, mm -hmm. and they wanted to change their name so that they, their name and their children's name is the same name, mm -hmm. for traveling purposes, and no. what. Mm. What? <laughs> what I, well, I travel a lot. What I told, mm. I told the person who shared the story, mm. um, that this person really just wanted that name. Yeah, they need you the do, name. My I am Nyangaya yeah. in all my documents. Yeah, my children are Kiari. Yes, I still need a birth certificate if I am going to travel with them. Yeah. It doesn't matter if my name is the same or not. No. I have to have a travel certificate for visa, and I have and a, a birth certificate. Yeah, yeah, a birth certificate for yeah. visa. Yeah, and they will still the immigration office officers or whatever will still ask my children to identify me, and my husband, who is the same surname as them. As them. Yeah. No. No. Never matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. And what if your name is some common name uh, anyway? You know. I mean. Really, uh, Smith, uh, yeah, Tom, Dick, and Harry. So, yeah, so then, now I mean, really, Smith Mugani Wajua Mawachina. No, really, no, because there's every, I mean, really, every. Mm. Yeah, so I think, I, I really think it just, it, it really um, strips women down of their dignity in, ta in, in, in the sense that they do not have a standing. As me, yeah. I am somebody's something, and if that thing is threatened, yes, it becomes I, you become. I'm now very shaky. shaky. Yeah, I'm now very shaky, and yeah, that's because why women have to stay in marriage even when the marriage is is nasty. not working. Is yeah. nasty. Is, yeah. is actually dangerous to your health yes. and well-being. Yeah, you still stay, yeah. and even in relationships, you still stay because you are you. The, you're only worth. Is somebody something? Yeah, because I'm Mrs. So and so. Yeah, I can be. I am a Pondinyangaya. Yeah, but when I walk up to you, I'm not introducing myself as wife of Nyangaya. Yeah, I'm just a Pondinyangaya. What you don't time? know who Nyangaya is? Somebody asked me, how is it that you are, uh, that you're Luo, but your name is Kit Kiarie? <laughs> That one, yeah. It is because, my name. Yeah, because you are not Mrs. Kit Kiarie. No. Yes. And so they I were said, wondering. Well, yeah. yeah. And they were wondering. Yeah. And the, and that's how then you say, well, this is how it goes. This is how it this goes. This is an acquired name. I acquired this name. Yes. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Exactly. But I, I'm Kit Kiarie, and everybody who knows me knows I'm Kit Kiarie, especially on on here, um, in social media. Yes. People don't even know that I'm Nyangaya, although it's written in all my profiles. Yes. They can They have no sense of that. Yes. Right. They have because a higher sense of Kiari. Yes. yes. But it's because they think it's my name, and people uh -huh. write people message me in Kikuyu, and I'm like, you need to translate this. <laughs> I'm I, not I don't Kikuyu. know what you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, oh, my bad. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Be who you. Are. It doesn't matter the name that you carry. No. What we're saying is the effect of being somebody something. Yeah. Always takes away. Never just being me. And I remember I had uh, when, when, when I I went to get my my first passport. Mm. I was already married, mm. and they had to check out my father's file. Mm. And from my father's file, mm. then now as being moved into my. But I had never had a passport. But I had, there was a record <laughs> that my father had me as a child. Mm. Yeah. And now I, I was so-and-so's uh, wife. Mm. And uh, we ended up, I ended up being in my husband's file. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, in, in Kenya, grown, grown, adult, grown adults, grown adult women are either in their father's file or their husband's file. Grown adult women. 
Yeah, no, we we uh, not not too long ago we became people. Now we are people. Now, now we are people. So by ourselves. By ourselves. So now now I don't have to be in anybody's file. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I can just be a person. Now you're a person. We yeah. Thank God. Yeah. It's been a long journey. A very long yeah. journey. In 2021. It's taken a while. Recently, we we became people. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> for me, just just thinking that I'm a full grown. <laughs> person but i'm not recognized uh, as, a, as a person as a person yeah unless i have a father or a husband yeah. so there has to be a male person in my life and yeah. in some cultures it's, it's even a my son. brother or your son yeah 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 so, yeah and sometimes it's a very young son but it's a male person and a male person is he's, considered he's a, responsible he's a person is a person and they're considered responsible yeah. and they can take charge mm. yeah mm. yeah so yeah <laughs> That's the kind of thing I come out and I say no. I come and I, you know, I come in peace. Mm. <laughs> and uh, loving your father as much as I love him, mm. I'm still not Mrs. Him when I'm introducing myself to people. Mm. And he is not Mr. Me. Mm. Yeah. Mm. We are just uh, both independent uh, people mm. of sound mind mm -hmm. uh, made in the image of Yahweh. Yes. Full person yes. made in the image of Yahweh. Yes. Yes. And this is what I want to say to women of my generation and younger. Mm -hmm. uh, a marriage is not an achievement. Having somebody else's name is not an achievement. It's a relationship. A marriage is a relationship. Yes. And you don't need to to hold that in higher esteem than any other each achievement that you have gotten. Okay? And just to be proud of you as a person. And I recognize that some people are insecure and they come from very insecure backgrounds and they, they're not like me. But the effect of being you and always being you as you has a very slight cheerleader-like effect on your person on your autonomy mm -hmm. that you don't realize at the time mm -hmm. but growing older and older mm -hmm. the way you talk the way you're maturing start maturing maturing in it the, maturing yes. in it you start to realize yes that you appreciate yourself you have high self-esteem you yes. have um your confidence powerful. you are powerful you yes. in whatever way in yes. whatever way you don't have to be outspoken you don't have to be loud you don't have to be rude but whatever way you are you yes yeah yeah and that means something yeah and that means something even when, when you are gentle and yeah. you're not you're not loud and you're not yes. loud yes so yeah. i would encourage you to introduce yourself by your name especially in professional social even yes. church introduce yes. yourself as you yes and allow other people to call you whatever they want yes. and you can correct the ones that you want yes. and say please call me yes kit Please yes. call me. Yeah. Yeah. And with that, you know, Kate, I'd like to just celebrate um, the, uh, the the new CJ. Yes. Martha Kome. Mm -hmm. Her name is Martha Kome. Kome. Everybody knows her name. She is not Mrs. Kome. <laughs> she's you, Martha. She's Martha Kome. Mm -hmm. And you rise into your own self and into powerful places by just owning your name and being somebody I know this person her name is Martha Kome yes she is not the wife of Kome no. and um, and and yet and yet that's I mean and that's her marriage her marital status yes. yeah um, there's uh, so much um, for women mm. uh, in terms of taking away mm. Um, where I walk into a room and uh, people, all the males must know my marital status yes. by my coming in and, and I and come and I say, I am Mrs. wife of. Wife of. Yeah, Mrs. just means wife, wife of. of. So I walk in and you ask me my name and I say, I'm wife of Nyangaya. Yeah. So you don't need to know me any further because I'm wife of Nyangaya. So now or, you know Nyangaya and yeah. you know that he is married. Yes. <laughs> and yes and he's married to me mm. or i walk in and i'm i say i'm daughter of mm. Nyang, nyangaya mm. and then there's the word ni mm. yeah mm -hmm. 
so it 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 it, it would be me yeah i am apondi nyangaya ni buyu meaning i used to be the daughter of buyu so i'm constantly introducing uh, the people who, and yeah, the people who owned me, yes, yeah, your ah, husband I've and your father, yes, you, or you haven't. People even write it down, ni. N I. N no, N double E. Yeah, or miss. Is that like a, in a in a government document? Anywhere you can write it anywhere. You can write it anywhere. Why? But I, is that important? No, but why is it important to write Mrs. or Miss? So, <laughs> so nowadays, um, the the language has evolved and included MS, which yes. is Miss, yeah, which means it's Person. none of your business, adult woman, whether married or <laughs> not. I yeah, yeah, adult woman, doesn't it? That's what it means because not really, okay, so it could be even a little one like Candy. No, Candy is Miss, like M I S S. Oh, but it's not anybody. It's a female person. A female person. She doesn't have to be Miss because she female doesn't. Person. She may not want to be going by. I am daughter of. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. female person is M S. Yes. Um, male person. A male person is M M R. Yes. Mister. And um, th then and they don't was... need to have whether he's married or not. No, I yes. mean, who cares? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever name, whatever title, be full of the person you were created to be and not any props because you are not a prop. I'm not a prop. I'm full and complete just as I am and everything that has been given to me it's additional, it's additive, and it's beautiful, and it's lovely, but it's not who I am. And without them, I'm still full and complete. Yes. Because yes. they can't go away. Yeah. And then. And then. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. You heard it here first. And I really, really hope you learned something and you enjoyed this video. Until next time. Bye. Bye.